Now, India is facing a significant skills shortage as it attempts to capitalize on its demographic dividend. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has highlighted the challenge of skilling the country's young workforce, pointing out that graduates often lack the skills required by employers. This issue is affecting key industries like tech, BFSI, manufacturing and automotive. The Confederation of Indian Industry estimates that India's formal workforce had faces a 15% skills shortfall. Over 150 million skilled workers currently need to meet market demands, an increase from 138 million three years ago. Now, India's booming tech sector is facing a critical talent shortage as well. While companies like TCS plan to hire 40,000 freshers this year and Infosys targeted 20,000, both firms are dealing on boarding due to a lack of skilled candidates. TCS alone has 80,000 open positions but struggles to fill them because of mismatch, mismatches in employee aspirations and the required skill sets. The rapid advancement of digital skills like AI, data analytics has outpaced traditional education systems and this has led to a projected shortage of 2 million skilled IT professionals by 2025. Companies that are increasingly relying on contractors to meet these gaps as they battle to keep up with industry demands. Now to tackle the growing skills gap, the Indian government has pledged $24 billion over the next five years to reskill 2 million workers across sectors. However, challenges remain. Uh, for instance, Wipro has the, is yet to fulfill job offers made two years ago due to the lack of business certainty and project visibility. Pressures across companies like Infosys and Wipro are waiting for onboarding as the industry faces a slowdown in North America and Europe. Meanwhile, industries like BFSI and manufacturing are also in need of specialized skills. The International Labour Organization reports that India's, un, uh, that India's educated youth are nine times more likely to be unemployed than those without formal education, underlining the urgency of bridging the skills gap.